it's like surreal how calm it is right now. Hey, look, everybody. Who's that over there? This is our boat now. Oh my God. <laughs> So the past couple of days, there have been some storms rolling through and the wind's just been going around in all different directions. And we've been tracking our boat where it's been on the map with our GPS tracker. So far, nothing has really alarmed us. However, yesterday we did see something that was a little weird because we check on the boat pretty much every day and we were out here with our GPS and we were looking at the circle in which we, are, we were swinging around our anchor. And we noticed that for some reason, the diameter of that circle was about half of what it should be. So this is where we currently are. And this was the circle that we were on yesterday and the day before and the day before that. So as you can see, we moved a little bit, which is kind of alarming in and of itself, but not too big of a deal because this is only about maybe 50 to 100 feet. This right here, this radius is about 100 feet and it should be 200. So that's yesterday we were like right here. And that's what kind of alarmed us. So I dove the anchor yesterday. So right here where I marked two engine blocks, there are two giant engine blocks uh, at the bottom right there, about six feet down. And our chain was wrapped up around it a couple times. So they were wrapped up around those engine blocks and that's why we were swinging on less of a radius than we normally do. Now today we're over here so that's a little weird. So maybe we're off those engine blocks. I'm not 100% sure. So I didn't do anything last night because it was getting late and it was a an onshore winds. And since we were wrapped around those engine blocks, I figured that we weren't gonna go anywhere. And the forecast today was supposed to be just like it is right now. There's like no wind, it's super calm. So I'm gonna go down and make sure I get the chain off the engine blocks if it's still there. But we did do a lot of weird things throughout the night. So we might have come off the engine blocks altogether, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive the anchor to check just to see. Randy behind me back there is currently kind of looking for where our anchor is. But yeah, let's let's go take a look. Yeah, motor, uh, motor where we need to go. All right, go backwards again, babe. All right, go again. So this was just a short little casual Friday video guys, just kind of a look into what it's like to be leaving a boat at anchor, the constant things you're worrying about and the things that could happen to you that you're not even thinking about like getting your chain wrapped up around two engine blocks and then somehow it coming off the next day when you go out to check on the chain again.
I don't get it. I really wish I had the GoPro the first day because you're just going to have to take my word for it that we actually were wrapped around those engine blocks, but we basically like went all the way around, got wrapped up, and then somehow that next night, because we were doing a lot of different things again, you know, we went the opposite direction and somehow the boat got unwrapped all on its own. But it just goes to show you the kind of crazy things that can happen that you're not even thinking of or really ready for. Obviously we did end up re-anchoring. We took the boat and we basically took it out another 200 feet away from everything just so that if we were to drag a little bit or if something weird were to happen again, we would be a little bit farther away from shore. We also wanted to get away from those engine blocks because it was about eight feet deep and those engine blocks were probably two, three feet tall. So depending on the tide, you know, we might've hit our, our keel on them. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I doubt it would have happened, but it's just something in the back of your mind. To be honest with you, it's kind of giving me a little bit of anxiety keeping the boat on anchor. Cause like, you know, we're constantly worrying about dragging, worrying about wrapping up around objects and different things. So I think we're probably going to end up finding a more permanent solution pretty soon. There's also a Catalina 27 in the anchorage that literally is just, he's been on one side and then the other and then the other side. And the guy that owns the boat is never on the boat and it just drags all over the place. So at some point, that thing's gonna get a little too close to freebie, so that's giving me anxiety as well. But I don't wanna ramble on forever, guys. So as always, if you enjoyed this little video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell if you wanna see each and every video we upload. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here